if you guys don't know, um, two different cases recently. Uh, P. Diddy, which I mean, th- those rumors have been really. I mean, I think you've you've been hearing them forever, kind of, right? It was like it was one of those things that was kind of like people talked about, and like it was kind of ugh, like that's kind of something I heard about. Him. It's not great, but like nothing ever really happened about it, or you know, was done about it. Um, and then recently. His home was raided. Uh, well, two of his homes were raided, actually. Um, I think one of his drug mules were arrested. Um, and it's just some wild shit, man. The, F- the FBI like really coming down on P. Diddy. It's it's really a it's really interesting to see. It. And it's 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 kind of weird, right? Like how how like long it seems to take. For anything to ever, this is just like the inefficiency of government, right? And you know, people always will attribute like, "Oh, you just got kind of like give it a break because you you know, like whatever, da 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 da," right? But like, if it, like ultimately, it's just like it's just inefficient. Like a biz, any business could do anything better than a government, like more efficiently than government at better quality, like than government in my opinion um but regardless i mean it, it's it's but and you know some have speculated like you know uh, did the fbi just come in and like make sure that their boys were cool <laughs> in this whole thing you know because oh, i mean i think ice cube ice cube gooding jr uh came out i i read that headline i don't really read articles i should i should do that more since i'm a podcaster but i don't uh honestly because like articles are so hard to read these days there's such garbage like you could i mean people get mad people reading the headlines but it's like it's because the the article you know it's garbage so it's like all you really need is the headline because it's such trash (laughs) like that's kind of how i justify it in my mind i don't know but anyways it's 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 interesting to see this whole thing unfold p diddy um uh and you know every it's kind of a sad thing in a way, you know, obviously he's dead, notorious B.I.G., but he's someone that I consider one of the greats. He's one of my personal favorite rappers. Um, and it's going to be really interesting to see if this thing unfolds and grows more. Um, I would be, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't even know if I would really be that surprised. Like how many people in that rap circle come out? Like, is this really going to be like the hot, like, like the raps version of Epstein, like it really kind of is, it, it seems to be unraveling that way, it, you know, to an extent, but that's the thing, right? Like who knows how long this will actually go on? Um, you know, I've always speculated for a long time. I think a big reason why at the whole, they did the Epstein drop at the beginning of the year um, was so they get done early right at the top. And then uh, we have the whole rest of the year for the election cycle to unfurl and all those things for people to just completely forget about it. Um, and you know, and you can see that right now, right? Like we, we, nobody even is thinking about what happened with the Epstein files, right? Like now we're focused on P. Diddy and Dan Schneider, right? Um, and look, and that's not to detract from anybody, right? Like anybody who does something like this, like should be, you know, something should be done about that, right? Like I agree with that. Not even necessarily on a government level, but people should like take action and be like, hey, these fuckers need to. You know, in my mind, they need to be put down. I mean, these people are animals. If you're re- if you're really willing to like have sex with a child, with like a young child, like I'm reading this, I'm reading this book, Hell's Angels, and they talk about how like they they fornicate with like 14, 15 year olds, and like I look, I get like at a time it was acceptable, but that we're not in that time, okay? I and like slavery, I don't think it was good, good in that time either, right? But like. Where we are is now, and now it's it's not okay. It won't ever be okay um, if you're like in the position of P. Diddy or Dan Schneider to be doing things with kids or Epstein or whoever, right? Um, like it's just not okay. But I mean, look, I mean, you know, and you know, Dan Schneider. Um, for those who don't know, uh, he I don't really I haven't seen the documentary or anything, but from what I understand, he had some really weird things where he was bringing kids to his house and doing like foot stuff, um, which, you know, would imply that he could potentially have (laughs) other uh, affiliations with that sort of, uh, you know, a sexual form of that sort of thing with children. 
Uh, and then I know I, I know Drake Bell, <laughs> Drake Bell had some shit happen to him, which it, that whole thing's interesting in itself, right? How the narrative of Drake Bell has kind of shifted into this like very uh, sympathetic thing. It really shows like how quickly and easily uh, audiences can be manipulated, right? Um, and, that, and that's look, and that's a really unfortunate aspect of this whole thing, right? Is like I, I am willing to acknowledge that like. Um, most if I, I, you know, I think mental health therapists will say this too, right? Like most people who, um, engage in this kind of behavior were at some point abused themselves. Right. And that's sad and that's sympathetic, but like, at what point do you stop it? Right. If you just, if you just let the logic, um, continue of just being like, okay, we're just going to give sympathy to these people because of what they went through. Um, that's valid up to a point, but when, but when you start, when that person starts then um, committing violent acts against other people or other children or whatever, um, that's a problem and that needs to be stopped. And I, I don't care what your logical or what your emotional argument for that is. Like that, That's just how I feel at the end of the day.